Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey, y'all, pura vida. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody who celebrates. I hope you're having a fantastic time. And if you're not, well, what the heck, it's gonna be over soon, right? Today is our final installment in the year-end retrospective look at October, November, and December of 2023 for Amberlynn Reed. The breakup is long over, a move is in the making, and it was onward and upward. Or was it? Sitting on my bed. We have no sheets on her because the moving company comes today within the next hour. All of my stuff is going to be gone. So I'm going to be living in this apartment with no stuff besides stuff out of my suitcase. My really big chair in the living room that I'm actually getting rid of. Um, that's pretty much going to be the only things here. So I'm going to be living out of that. Me and Feline both are going to be living here with literally nothing for i would say like a, a few too many nights but i noticed that when i get really really stressed i disappear from from youtube like completely this happened when i was actually diagnosed with cancer i had a lot of pre-filmed stuff so i was still able to upload very much disappear from YouTube when I feel like this. I'm not comparing my cancer journey with my moving journey, no. I'm just saying like in general, when I feel this sort of like stress, I kind of just want to like disappear from the world. So this is currently my office with all my stuff in it. So this is literally everything because I wanted to do everything myself. Here's everything. This is everything, everything I own. Do you guys hear that beeping? That's the movers backing in their truck. No Starbucks around here has the chai tea. So I got coffee for the first time in a hot minute. Coffee gives me anxiety, so that's fun. And then I also got, this is a bacon sausage wrap. I'm having so much fun with TikTok. I'm trying not to like post too much on there because like for a couple days in a row I was posting like six a day and I was like, girl, you need to calm down. I feel like once I move, I really want to like venture out a bit. Um, I want to start like posting more on things. Like I want to start doing cameos again. Like my cameo is open, but I just feel like I haven't been talking about it much. So I've been kind of slacking on that, but like I'm gonna do that more. And I'm really, really interested in publishing some of my writing. Hello, I wish I could come on here and be like, I'm just living my best life doing great, but this is my life right now. I literally slept in these clothes. I slept in my makeup. I slept in my jewelry. I slept on this damn chair. And I woke up super stressed. Um, I don't really want to talk right now because I look crazy, but um, mm, there's too many plot twists to this move and it's adding a lot of stress. So um, today's actually my last night in my apartment. Yeah, um, had my last dinner there, fed my animals their last dinner. Last time I washed my hair there, last time I did a load of laundry. Tonight's gonna be the last time I sleep here. And I have shed some tears, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I am going to miss living here in this apartment. Hello, good morning. This is my last morning of waking up in this apartment. Okay, so I'm about to weigh myself, which I have not done in like a month. I don't know. Last time I weighed myself was like 5'11". Hello, it's ready. 510.2 pounds. Oh. 510.2, <gasps> <laughs> wait, that means I've lost weight? You know what? I honestly think it's because I have been walking more. Why did I think I gained weight? Goodbye. Goodbye. This is it, you guys. This is it. Um, so I'm purposely doing something. I am purposely like acting as if I am coming back. I mentally don't want to like 
process fully that I'm moving. Last month especially, I'm blocking out a lot of a lot of feelings. So I don't know. It's probably very unhealthy, but that's just like where I'm at right now. So we're probably not gonna get to my destination for like a good 15, 16 hours. That's a long time. So, and we're doing majority of the traveling in the dark. So we can get there like in the morning. So, oh my God, this is gonna be a journey. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. I'm gonna stretch. But yeah, I, I'm not sure where we're at. I think we're a little bit past like Bowling Green, Kentucky, but we still have a long ways to go. We still have over 700 miles. We started at, I don't even remember what it was, but we've gone a couple hundred, so. Going over a bridge with some pretty lights. I have no idea where we are. Oh, Arkansas! We're in Arkansas, <laughs> okay. Y'all, it's 4.30 in the morning, and I've realized I have no idea where I am. No idea where I'm located. It is daytime. I am so tired. Um, we stopped one or two other times. I didn't vlog. I've just been in my own little head. But we are 45 minutes away. So we did it. It was successful. Oh my god. Like, I was so nervous about this ride. But I did it. I was so uncomfortable because I'm just in this tiny little spot. This has been my spot the whole time. Thank you, chair. I've loved you every minute. I'm actually about to go to Target to get things for the apartment. And I do have dark circles under my eyes because um, I literally did not sleep all night. Um, that was the night that we drove here. So I've been here for just like a couple hours and I showered and I feel rejuvenated. So we're gonna go out and do that. And I'm currently trying to upload a video through just like my phone data because I currently don't have internet like Wi-Fi or anything so that is taking literally forever I'm trying to figure out the whole Wi-Fi thing but it's like so confusing so Feline has officially left um I had a whole breakdown already about it things have been very 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 up and down with her like either way I'm losing a very very like special person to me very very important person to me and I'm losing them and it's hard and I'm trying to like just be okay with being alone this is the first time I've ever um had only my name on a lease first time I've ever moved somewhere just me this is the first time it's just me and I have to create this space to feel like mine and to feel like home right now I just feel really sad so I don't know, like I have plans tonight, I have plans later today, and I don't wanna be just like this a walking heartbreak, this walking sadness, but it's just like in this moment, I'm feeling pretty rough. Hello, it's Freddie. Hello, hello. 508.8 pounds. 508.8. Look exhausted, because I am, so just embrace that. <laughs> and I've also been doing a lot of crying, it's just, I really miss Feline and I know it's gonna be hard for me. I've actually been here for four nights and I honestly love it, y'all. I've never hung a picture. I know that sounds like stupid, but it's the truth. You guys, I ordered some alcohol. I did. I got some of two of these like buzz balls. I have no idea. They're like chillers. This is pineapple colada chiller and this is a choco chiller. And then I got a six pack of the mango white claw. This is literally orange wine with cream. Oh, bitch. Wait. 10 out of 10 recommend. Wow. So the rest I'm just going to put in the fridge. Just put them right here. I just wanted to let loose a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now it's time for this guy. It says to shake well. Whoopsies. <gasps> That's good too. Why am I this person? Oh. I'm now on white claws. Mango is the only one I could drink. I had a moment where I was like, should I live stream? <laughs> but Drunkland says things that Soberlin would not say, so I don't think right now is a good idea to be doing that. I'm single, getting drunk in my closet. 
people drink just to have funsies, like just for funsies. So there's no crisis, there's no cry for help. Hello, so I'm hungry. Oh. I'm desperate for food. I don't really have much to eat. So I've officially drank both the buzz. I'm on my second can of White Claw. We're great over here. All right, let's try it. Ooh, she's good. Master, like a, that's fine. Y'all, I've lived here now for what? 12 days and I still have not hooked up my TV. Okay, you guys, so my friend actually sent me a housewarming gift. It's a wooden floor lamp. And I have to put this together. I am pretty excited because I've never put anything together besides like an expert Lego. So yeah, there's a user manual. So I do have instructions. So let me give this a go. Like, where does this go? I'm like so confused. Y'all, I'm currently screwing a screw, but I can't tell if I have this on upside down or not. So uh, uh, that was me. Remove the plastic ring from the screw base. Huh? What's a screw base? And what is a plastic ring? What? What? Oh my God, wait. <laughs> Did I just build a lamp? <gasps> I'm obsessed with it. Oh my God. And now we are off to go win some money, hopefully. <laughs> It's probably really silly to some people, which I understand it's gonna be, but my bucket list. I've always wanted to go to a casino. I know that's like so weird, but it is something on my bucket list. We're here. Uh huh. Oh, here we are, folks. We are here. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm finally here at 32. Look at all that. Okay, what do I do? 75. Do I press this button? Yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs> So happy birthday to me, happy birthday to you all, happy birthday to this freaking channel. Like a full decade, I can officially say Amberlynn Reed has been on YouTube for 10 years and I'm not gonna lie to you, it has been a rocky, rocky, rocky ride. So wow, um, here's to another decade. Can you imagine in 20 years, I'm like, hey y'all, I'm 42. On YouTube, still doing my damn thing? That would be crazy. So we are currently at the Science Museum. get it really dark. Uh, you may even be able to catch this band of grayish light across the sky. Does anybody know what that is? It's, so it is the next day. Um, I'm getting ready. My mom actually stayed the night last night, which was cute and fun and fresh. Had her watch the movie Barbie. Yeah, yesterday um, I stopped filming after the Science Museum. We had so much fun, but we ended up going out to dinner. Um, last Sunday, my mom was like, church or casino? And I was like, casino. If you guys don't know anything about me, I am agnostic, but my mom does believe in God and all that, so she wants to share this experience with me. So I am going for her today. My mom 
mom's boyfriend's family love like literally obsessed and by the way church was actually so much fun it was nothing like i expected i have never been to a church like that like a live band like that started off by singing come together one of my most favorite songs ever once they started getting into the more like i love jesus i love god once it became that I did feel a certain type of energy and I ended up crying, which honestly isn't surprising because every time I've gone to church, nine times out of 10, I shed at least one tear. Amber had been busier than we'd ever seen her with packing and moving and getting everything ready. Reconnecting with her mother brought her all kinds of new adventures from the casino to church to bingo. Well, I guess that's about it really. November is also when Amber introduced us to buzz balls. Has Feline ghosted you? Okay, so the answer is no, but I really hurt her after we broke up by falling in love with someone else. I hurt her a lot and I take accountability. I obviously just could not control falling in love with someone else. Um, I very much fell in love. Um, I did. And it just was really hard for her and it became hard for me and it became a very big mess. And it just really went to show like how much she did love me and I felt horrible and I tried to fix it, but I kept failing at fixing it and it made it to where she doesn't even want to continue being my friend. So I went through like a whole separate heartbreak in private. <laughs> Like, I just feel like I'm reliving the heartbreak just a million times over. We were cordial for a bit after she left. Uh, we would text. Then, like, almost daily I would text her, like, I love you, I miss you, because I just felt like I needed her to know. And I needed her to know that I was sorry that I hurt her. I talked it over with a friend, and they said, I think it's time that you just, like, respect her and stop contacting her, and it's been really hard. This is gonna sound dumb to some people, but I am on day five of not contacting her. You know, I thought I was gonna marry her, and um... You'd get married to me yep. in a courthouse. I mean, we wanna get married. Early this year, we wanted to get married. We truly did. And I hope that I travel a bit, and I am maybe married. I know a lot of people are like, curious like are you gonna get married i'm not ready for marriage no it's just been really really hard so we are not in contact and i'm going to be respecting her wishes even if it's really freaking hard you think it's wise to be drinking all the time with all the medications you are on i actually am not on any medications at all I can't tell you the last time I took a, a medication. <laughs> it's been months since I've been off of like anxiety medicine or for my bipolar, but I actually am taking a break on the whole drinking thing because I felt like I was turning to it. I, I did go through a phase a couple years ago where um, I was turning to alcohol and the last time I drank was on live stream, I was drinking whiskey. It's because I was turning to alcohol um, because I just felt like I needed something so I didn't have to feel what I was currently feeling. I'm not gonna use alcohol as a crutch. I'm not that person, or at least I thought I wasn't that person. But when I told myself I was gonna stop drinking, I was able to do that. I didn't drink for about a year and a half. And now I'm finding myself going back to that. Like at first I was like, you know what? Single era, I live by myself, have a couple drinks. There's nothing wrong with that. The time to say, um, I, I really did not want to share this. Oh, I've been diagnosed with OCD. I've been diagnosed with PTSD, um, bipolar. And those things were like so much easier for me to accept. I was actually diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. I have a hard time accepting that because it's obvious. It's obvious that I have borderline personality disorder and it's something that like I always purposely pushed away. I don't know what it is. I think it's because with everything else, take some medicine, try some Zoloft, see if that helps. But with borderline personality disorder, there isn't really a medicine for that. You have to work, 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 work. And it's, I don't know if I wanna like talk about it anymore because again, it's hard for me to accept. And now it's just something else that I have to put in work 
and it's just maybe I feel like it's a bit unfair I was not gonna do this I was not going to do this like the truth is um as the time goes on and I am losing more and more of like the two people that I love which is such a weird concept that like you can love more than one person at a time because like I really never believed that you could but truth is you can and it's just like the more I lose them and the more time goes like I just feel so broken and I go out and I do things and I try to distract myself the best that I can and then I come home and I am just hit with like loneliness and all of my thoughts all of them and all of my feelings are just like heightened and just there for me to listen to and for me to feel and I just don't like it. It is literally torture. I feel like I'm being tortured because it's like it's that type of like loneliness and that type of pain where it's like a lump in your throat and your chest is super heavy and you just like feel like you're gonna spiral. Like that's how it feels. I just don't know how to be alone. I don't. Like I'm going through so many different emotions when it comes to like two heartbreaks at one time and but I'm just having a hard time like and I've like stupidly I've thought of like why don't I just go back to like filming mukbangs and it's like that's not who I am anymore it would be ultimately the easiest choice I could make is just eat for you guys and just eat on camera it would help my bank account it would help my views it would help engagement it would help take my mind off of everything but it's like that's not who I am anymore and it's like I can't take the easier way out I can't do that I can't do that to myself and like ultimately I don't want to do that to you guys I don't want to do that to the people who have continuously supported me and they've seen growth in me I can't do that and I won't do that but it's like I do have that nagging thought in my brain of like, we'll just do that then. Okay, so I feel better now. I'm currently um, standing in my kitchen eating Cool Whip with a butter knife. Huh? You know? The pork chop dance. But a lot of people are asking, how did you hurt your ex by falling in love with someone else? Like you guys weren't together. So obviously some of this is my story to tell. Uh, I did hurt her because my ex wanted to possibly try to get back together. Uh, she wanted us to work on ourselves and possibly get back together one day. And normally that would have been something I would have jumped at like this. But when I fell in love, I continuously chose this other person over her and I was hurting her like really bad. And, you know, in my head I was like, I'm single, we're broken up for a reason. I remember telling my ex like, why don't we try Polly? That's never anything I would have ever suggested in the past. But she didn't even want to do that. And it's like, my ex loved me so much and she really wanted to try to make it work. But I was repeatedly choosing another person over her. And that is the reason why that she does not want to speak to me anymore. Guys, so I know a lot of you are asking if I'm gonna do Vlogmas this year. Vlogmas has always been my most favorite time of the year. Christmas is my favorite time of year. I love the feeling of it. I love the music. I love the decorations. I love everything about Christmas. It reminded me of my ex. It reminded me of so many, so many good memories. I'm not even gonna decorate for Christmas this year. And I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, that's super unhealthy. Like, that's really weird. Everyone copes differently. And I know that being in my apartment around all of my Christmas decorations, ones that me and my ex decorated with last year and celebrated with last year, it's just gonna be a constant memory of something that I don't have anymore, something that I miss, something that I just don't want to. I have borderline personality disorder and my ex was my absolute most favorite person in the whole world. And when you have a favorite person, especially when you have BPD, they become your literal everything. And it's like, I'm aware of that. Like I'm able to be so aware. I am so freaking aware that one of the biggest reasons why I'm having such a hard time with losing her not only because i loved her dearly dearly i loved her with all of me but because i have a mental illness that is making this hard 
I have a great future ahead of me and then I have times like right, like right now where I just, I break down. I'm not gonna be sorry about it. And it's dusty, cause like I said, I have not weighed myself in a very long time. I hate this, I hate this so much. Cause I know, I know I'm getting it Ready. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Moment of truth. 516.4 pounds. 516.4. I'm gonna step on it again just to make sure. 516.2 pounds. 516.2. Let's do it a third time. I usually only do it once, but I haven't been on here in so long, so. 515.8 515.8, so we'll take the medium, which will be 516.2. Okay, so I actually only gained like six pounds. You guys, this looks crazy. I drank a little too much. <laughs> so it is nighttime. I had the literal best day today, like with my family and actually went to the casino. We did, but the night for me was honestly from the very beginning, so adventurous. I don't know if it's the fairy hair. I don't know if it's because I have my hair parted like this. I don't know if it's the bomb ass eyeliner. I don't know if it's the dress. I don't know what it is. Long story short, I mean, Quite a few friends got some numbers but there was a lot of guys out that i guess likes a bigger girl but there was this one guy in particular after i was like complimented by tons of other guys and it was so funny this one guy called me gorgeous and then but there was this one guy in particular who was like wanting to buy me drinks and he was like following me around everywhere because i like to like go to different machines he couldn't stop hugging me he even gave me 20 dollars for my machine like it's fine. At first I thought it was like friendly. It was fine. Okay, cool. But then he started saying things like, I like you a lot and like looking at me like that. I'm just like, oh my God, sorry, not interested. And I'm also like massively a people pleaser because I don't know, that's just like who I am. So like the whole time I'm like letting this guy follow me. It was like the weirdest situation. I have never been so complimented in my life. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I had confidence today. And I think that, like, it, it was showing. Um, I gave my number, I think, to one of the guys. And he ended up calling. Obviously, I didn't answer because not going to. He left a three-minute voicemail of just nothing. But, like, you could tell he's driving because you, like, hear his blinker. I'm just like, what the heck? It was at 4 a.m. It's like, you know what he wanted if calling at 4 a.m., you know? Well, it seemed in December things were starting to slow down for Amber. She wasn't doing Vlogmas, there wasn't any friends around. The thrill of the new has ended. Her life consists of hanging around with her mom, running errands, and drinking. Lots and lots of drinking. Oh my god, I just stood outside for an hour. I was waiting for the Uber because I got some Taco Bell and I met a guy and I shaked his hand and it has to be the softest hand I've ever felt. So, um, anyways, I was out there for like an hour. I didn't realize I was going to be out there for an hour, but the Uber was running very behind, which happens, not complaining, but... It's like 33 degrees and I wasn't wearing a coat. So I was massively craving. They're just like chips and nachos. So you just get those little chips and nachos. <laughs> okay. Chips and cheese. And then a the little bit of chips that we got there. And yes, um, it's actually 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> oh boy. And I got two of these tacos because they're like my favorite. You know, I've been MIA. I just don't, I don't know. I feel like I have a million things to say, but are any of them worth saying? That's my headspace right now, but I'm gonna go get me a buzz ball from my fridge. I'm gonna crack it open. I'm gonna start this episode and I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so I'm gonna have a pineapple colada buzz ball. Cheers. Currently on my third buzz ball. I know a lot of you want me to live stream, especially while 
Drunkalin is making an appearance and I think about it a lot. I do, I have it in my brain frequently. To live stream, um, even sober, I feel like it would be super freaking fun. I have not live streamed since moving. I haven't live streamed since, when was the last time? Um, yeah, okay, I remember now. So I don't know. Uh, it's like even talking about it now, I'm like, oh my god, should I go live stream right now? I have, okay, I have been talking to people and I'm open to that, but like, I don't think I'm open for a relationship right now, unless like, you know, I fall in love. But I have been feeling more self-love for myself and I have been caring for myself more and I have been feeling more confident and I just... I don't feel like a pile of poop anymore. <laughs> That's a good thing. I feel like maybe, you know, a new piercing would be fun. You know, I got the fairy hair. I, who knows what's next? But right now I'm feeling super anxious and super nervous. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> it's done. And my mom is a hater. Um, what do you guys think? I love it. Good day. And while I was in the piercing place, I actually was recognized a few times, so if you guys are watching, hello, hello. And I wanna say the weirdest, weirdest coincidence happened today, but it's also like a sign, I feel like. So I've been talking to someone on Instagram, like who wants to hang out, and we've been, I don't know, it's just been a, bit, a little bit of time. They wanna hang out, and I felt like good vibes from them. Like I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say like, let's hang out and stuff. And it's like, I always feel kind of weird about that because I'm just like, a weird girly <laughs> so like I never respond but I responded to them and uh, one of the people that I uh, was recognized by today was like oh my god can I get a photo like my friend is obsessed with you y'all short story short the friend that we're talking about is the literal person that I'm talking to on Instagram seeing my legs has a uh, put me in a really weird headspace it's like every day I see my legs I know they're big but it's like something about this specific clip just really got to me because, you know, when you see yourself every single day, sometimes you don't notice, oh, wow, look at my weight loss. I'm looking good. Or, oh, wow, I've gained some weight. Like, you don't notice things like that until you look at, like, an older photo or a video or, and instead of, watching this clip, understanding why I'm showing it, they're still only gonna see me for my body and not the story that I'm actually trying to convey. I would do anything for people to see my heart instead. through my first buzz ball it's the sour apple chiller and i've had this one before so that's why i didn't do a taste test but when i try one that i haven't had before taste test is coming folks is that better okay i have my second one the lime rita chiller which i've had before so someone on actually instagram told me try the watermelon so you have the watermelon and you're supposed to shake them oh my god Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Wait, this is so good. This tastes like juice. So we are now drinking my Choco Chiller, which has always been my, my favorite, but I need my hair up, so I'll be right back. So I think the next one I'm gonna try, which is gonna be my fifth one, and possibly my last, Strawberry Rita. Shaker, shaker real good, opener. All right, smells good. Tastes even better. Oh my god, this is so good. Have you guys seen the stuff trending about girl math? That is literally me. But there's also Amber Lynn math. Um, I'm like mathematician Lynn. That's actually a joke between me and my friends. One of my exes would say I'm literally a walking calculator and it was a very nice compliment. Like, thank you, thank you. Anyways. I would like to thank you all for joining me at the part four retrospective look at Amber Lynn's 2023. It's been quite, well, quite a dull ride actually. Let's hope something gets more exciting in 2024. If not for her, maybe for us. Until we meet again, please be kind and hasta luego.